So today I'm talking about a P0092 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0092 code? Well, it's a fuel pressure regulator A control circuit high. And some scan tools will give you fuel pressure regulator one control circuit high. And so what does this mean? Well, basically many vehicles nowadays, they have two fuel pumps. They're gonna have a low pressure fuel pump inside the gas tank and then bolted to the engine is gonna be what's called the high pressure fuel pump. But when you get this P0092 code, the computer's seeing a problem with the fuel pressure, mainly with this fuel pressure regulator, that there's some kind of issue going on there. Oh, and so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And one thing to note about these high pressure fuel pump systems is that there can be differences. They can be designed differently. Components can have different names and things like this. So if you do go to work on a vehicle, it's a good idea to get a diagram for that specific vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. But when it comes to these systems, it is very common for the pressure to be regulated by a solenoid located on the high pressure fuel pump. For example, right here, this is a Volkswagen. This is the high pressure fuel pump right here. And right here is the solenoid that controls the fuel pressure. These solenoids can have different names. They could be called an actuator, a flow control valve, a flow rate valve, different things like that. But basically, they're usually just a solenoid that's bolted directly to the high pressure fuel pump. So like I said before, it's a good idea to get a diagram for your specific vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0092 code? Well, the main thing that's going to cause is either that fuel pressure regulator, which is usually that solenoid, it's either gone bad or the wiring going to it. So there's a few different ways to go about testing this. You can't go and test the wiring and be sure it's good. Or you could go test that solenoid on that high pressure fuel pump and check to see if it's good. These solenoids, like any solenoid, they can be tested with a multimeter using ohms. You will need to look up what the rated ohms is for that solenoid to know the range that it should be in. But basically you look up what it's rated to be at. You set your meter to ohms. And if it goes outside of that, if it's higher or lower, then you know it's bad, you know it needs to be replaced. So you can go and test that solenoid to check to see if it has gone bad and if it's having some kind of issue. You can also get wiring schematics for the vehicle and go and check the wiring, mainly the wires that the wiring harness going to that solenoid and check to see if there's any kind of open, short, a bad connection, anything like this, because if there is, then that's going to cause problems. It's also a good idea to go check for any blowing fuses and possibly a bad relay or anything like this. If you're able to get wiring schematics for that vehicle, then that'll tell you which fuse or relay it's using but it's a good idea to go check for any blowing fuses and possibly a bad relay because the most common things that's gonna cause a P0092 code is gonna be either a bad high pressure fuel pump, mainly that solenoid that's on there or the wiring going to it. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0092 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.